I was asked if I could include a tip of the day or an idea or some kind of um, let me help you deal. Yeah, I can do that. A guy came by the other day and he had a piece of magnolia tree about this big. And he's right off the bat, he says, can you turn this? And my standard answer when people ask me about that, if I can hold it, I can turn it. And I had about a half a dozen different ways that I could hold that piece. I could put it in a screw chuck, I could drill an inch and a quarter hole and open up expansion jaws. I could put it between centers and put a tenon on it. Um, I could put it between centers and put a notch in it. Uh, all kinds of ways. Because I've got very versatile chucks and chuck methods. And my chucks are maintained. I'll take them out, take the jaws off, clean them out, blow them out, rinse, rinse them off in, in mineral spirits, and my chucks work well. How about yours? Really? Have you taken a few minutes to maintain your chucks and the jaws and keep them clean? And are they sorted out? Hey, yeah, yeah, joke about the, the clutter. But my jaws are hanging on a piece of 14 gauge wire right there. Four jaws on a piece, and that's a set. And that's how I store them, because I have to change them occasionally. I have to go from a 1 to a 2 to a 3 to a 4 to jumbos to whatever. So mine are in kits or sets, and they're all hanging on a wall over there. How about yours? If you can hold it, you can turn it. If you need me, here's the address. Eddie Castle on at Cox.net. That's how you email me. And if you're looking for the best deal on carbide cutter sharpening rigs and a whole lot more, go to my website. Boom, right here. www.eddiecastellan.com. See, all you need to really know is the name. Everything else kind of falls in play. See you soon. If I can hold it, I can turn it. By the way, I gotta get to work on a piece of magnolia.